hi guys welcome to my youtube channel so in this video we will learn how we can create a replica of existing microsoft sql server instance on google cloud platform below are some important notes you need to consider so in gcp read replicas don't provide failover functionality so don't expect that and these read replicas are the exact copy of your primary database instance okay so all the data uh, will be uh, there on the replica side as well and replicas are in asynchronous mode and these you know uh, replicas reflect the data changes from primary to your uh, replica in near real time and one more thing uh, you cannot perform write operations on these replicas because these are read only You cannot have max, I mean, you can have only maximum eight replicas per database instance. Beyond that, you cannot create. So, this is the limitation in GCP. You cannot create replica if the primary instance is not having uh, another addition. I mean, if you are having the enterprise addition, then it's good. Otherwise, you will not be able to create the replica. Suppose you are using web addition developer or standard, then you won't be able to create the replica. So these things you need to consider. Now let's jump into the cloud console and see how we can create the replica. This is my Google Chrome. This is my URL console, console.cloud.google.com. Enter. As soon as you enter, you will be on the welcome page. Go to the navigation menu left hand side click cloud sql and you will see i have one you know on the gcp instance gcp sql server 2022 which is currently you know running on enterprise edition and um, sql server 2022 enterprise okay this is a public ip through which i can connect from my local system and if you expand that you can see further information instance connection name high availability enabled or not location and storage information we need to click on these uh, three dots right hand side so here we can create the replica so second option we need to choose click on create replica another page will be open if you scroll down see this is the instance information so sql server 2022 enterprise edition will be you know um, installed as on the replica as well and this will be the instance id this is my original instance id and it has you know by default to pick a hyphen uh, replica okay so i'm good with this i'm not changing this you can change if you want but i am keeping this as it is so this will be the region us central one over if you want to change then you can change from here I am just you know using the same location default. Click on specify zones. So if you want to specify any particular zone, then you can uh, select that. Suppose I want to use US Central one B, then I can use this one. And right hand side you can see the billing chart. Okay, the estimated uh, cost of your uh, replica on hourly basis. It's nearly two dollar two point zero two dollar. Okay, and Further, we need to uh, click on show configuration options to customize the instance configuration. Mach this is the machine uh, configuration. I'm good with this uh, 2V CPU and 8GB uh, RAM. Storage, I'm good with 20GB. You can select from 22, you know, 65,536. These are the connections. So, public IP that is enabled okay or we can add our network if you want that is already added so let's add that see that is already added so that's why i'm deleting this okay if we, that is not enabled you can just click on add network and uh, give any name replica net and click on use my ip so it will automatically pick your ip okay so for now i am deleting this because this is already showing here 
next one uh, security options if you want to opt for the you know ssl connection then you can click here i'm not going to touch anything okay so let's remain everything as it is even though the um these things as well flags and parameters so this will automatically pick the settings of your primary replica so now click on create replica as soon as you create the operation will start and you can see the notification here so it's creating this replica for gcp sql server 2022 so let's wait to finish this then we will resume the video so as you can see the replica is successfully created and in notification panel as well you can see the green check mark and here as well okay so let's uh, further navigate to the same thing um over cloud sql see the uh, first thing we notice there is a, another subsection okay so under that uh, our uh, main primary replica so there is another section so gcp sql server 2022 hyphen replica is mentioned here that means this is the read replica and you can see here as well sql server read replica and this is the public ip of that and uh, our public ip of read replica is mentioned here okay and all this information you can go through so one more thing i want to highlight if you you know click on this so um, this replica is currently read uh, replica so if you want to have that a particular replica as a standalone instance then you can just promote this uh, uh, read uh, only replica to standalone instance so if you click on uh, promote then you can promote this to standalone instance then this will you know remove as in read replica and behave like a standalone instance just like your primary uh, database instance so this is one thing i would just want to highlight so let's come back to that uh, read replica topic so uh, we have created that now we need to verify that uh, let's jump into the ssms so i have ssms and i have already connected to that instance see that i have already connected let's refresh that and see if we have any aoz group is created for that or not that is reconnected you can see the database this is my primary replica please remember that so first thing we notice uh, these two databases are in synchronized state okay on primary replica primary uh, our primary instance and then if we further expand the aog tab then we will see a aog yeah see availability group is also created ag primary and if we further expand that we will be able to uh, able to see the uh, replicas as well so these are the replicas this is primary one this is secondary and databases as well okay so let's uh, uh, connect the, our read replica as well if we go to read replica click here go to the connection tab and copy that this one Just minimize that. Paste here. Click connect. And similarly, you will be uh, able to connect to your read replica as well. It's getting connected, so it will take a while. Yeah, that is connected. See, that is connected now both replicas are connected so our primary replica is uh, primary instance is this and it's a uh, read replica respective read replica is this this one so let's uh, check the aog status as well um expand that uh, always on high availability further expand the availability groups and click on that right click and show dashboard So once we click on show dashboard, dash AOG dashboard will open. Currently this is opening, will take a while. Yep, 
yeah that is uh, connected and dashboard is here so if we expand that these things so these are the replica names okay these are the roles what is the availability mode as synchronous commit mode what is the failover manual seeding is automatic all these information default information is mentioned here okay and if you you know further add your another replica then this will be reflect here here okay so you can uh, have nine entries here one is your primary um, and uh, eight you can have the secondary replicas okay so right click uh, again on availability group and go to the properties okay so that's open but we didn't get any pop up okay so this is the availability group name okay these are the database which are part of that availability group name and same information you can see here as well okay along with the endpoint url so now we have seen uh, how to create the read replica for ms sql server instance in gcp i hope you like this video thanks for watching bye